Welcome to this tutorial video about synchronous modeling. This is really good for creating models and modifying models from imported files that you don't necessarily have design trees for or modifications easily. This tools, these tools right here will allow you to change them up. Now to add all the buttons that I have, you're going to want to hit the down arrow add or remove button, synchronize modeling, and just check all the boxes that you want. Once you have that, you can leave it in the top menu or you can drag it to the side like I have. And then we can get to work. So, we can move faces with this function and drag them up and down. We can also rotate them back and forth. We can pull faces as well. This one, you can see it's pulling the face on its on the angle. So, move face will just move it up and down, or left or right. The pull face will just pull it straight off of the angle that it's on. So, say we have a, a blend in our object that we uh, can't modify because it wouldn't be in our design tree. You can take take that and change its radius pretty simply. It's bigger or smaller, get rid of it. You can also resize surfaces. So we can take this and make it a much smaller hole if we wanted. We can also move the face here and pull it out but we can also pull that hole out as well rotate around so we can see it. So it's moving and if we want to we can turn it and that hole will also be turned sideways because we moved it and rotated it all together let's get rid of this feature So we have this surface right here, and we want this surface to be the same. We would use replace surface. We want this surface, center click, moves us down to here, or you can click right here. Then you click here, and it will move the surface to that same angle. You can also delete faces. Um, this is a solid, so it won't like deleting that surface, of course. And so, this is the end of our synchronized modeling tutorial.